Zoax.net. The Matrix Effect. To follow along with this lesson, download the project from our lesson page at Zoax.net. The project that I'm using is a simple C++ console project like the one we created in C++ console lesson 1. So you can create a project on your own if you so desire, otherwise just download the project and use it as is. This program builds on the prior C++ console lesson code. In our C++ console lesson, we created a simple matrix effect that looked like this. In this program, we will make changes to add color to that effect. Note that the C++ console lesson was platform independent, but this program uses functions that are specific to the Windows operating system. To begin, we have added a statement to include the Windows library. This allows us to make our Windows specific function calls. Then we have the modulus and getchar functions for generating pseudo-random characters, which we have already explained in our console lesson. At the beginning of the main function, we have added these three lines to set the text color. A handle is the type that Windows uses to refer to Windows objects. In this case, the function call to get standard handle returns a handle to the console window buffer. A handle is somewhat like a pointer. Generally, we don't access the object that a handle refers to directly, but instead we pass the handle as an argument into Windows functions, as we do here. Then we call set console text attribute to set the text output color. In this case, the call to set console text attribute sets the text color of the console window to green. The color green is specified by the color table in the Windows operating system. Inside the inner while loop, we replaced our code inside the if statement with a check that sets approximately one out of every 71 characters to be a lighter shade of green. The color 2 is a dark green and the color 7 is a light green. Later in the loop, we set the color back to the darker green so that we only get one light character at a time. The rest of the code is the same except that we have changed the delay loop. Instead of using the while loop that we had before, we have replaced it with a single function call to the sleep function. The call to the sleep function specifies that this thread should stop running for 10 milliseconds. You can set this value to whatever you think looks good, and the nice thing about this delay is that it runs the same on all machines regardless of the processor speed. Compiling and executing the code, we see the colored letters with the light green characters mixed in. Finally, I should also add that we can change the character range to alter the effect. In fact, we can even use characters outside of the ASCII range. Here, we change the character range to run from 180 to 218. This generates the exotic looking characters that we see in this still here. This can be used to create a more mysterious effect. 